what is it that makes a good table in Power BI? Is it the data? Is it the visual design? Is it the analytical enhancements? After working with data for more than a decade, I can definitely tell you that it is a combination of all of them. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Stelian and today I'm going to show you a few things that you can do to transform your tables from bland and generic to modern, visually pleasing and most importantly, easy to understand. Like it or not, tables in Power BI are the workhorse of any report. Why, you would ask? Well, because they reveal granular detail, they support powerful formatting and analytics, they are universally understood, and they serve as the backbone for validating and building reports. Business users are already familiar with tables from Excel, SQL query results, and BI tools. This makes tables easy to adopt, easy to interpret, and easy to trust. In business environments, clarity matters. Tables provide that with zero interpretation needed. Having said all this, let me show you how you can transform your tables from bland and generic to something your users will love. So today we will split everything into three easy to digest categories, each having a few tips of their own. So we will start from this table, a sort of a standard design, but the issues with it should be visible from a country mark. It's cluttered, there's no sense of hierarchy whatsoever, and it's difficult to understand. You would say that if you change the visual design, you will get a better table and that's it. But let me tell you something. It all begins with data first. You should always ask yourself, is this data really necessary? Is the data clear enough and easy to understand? Is there anything I can show in a different way and keep it out of the table? Right off the bat, you could get rid of the totals. Chances are you have a KPI card showing those figures anyway. Which leads us to the next tip. Information description should be informative, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be a whole novel. So, column headers could present just enough information, not the whole sentence. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. How you present data matters, and here the numbers formatting, it's all over the place. You need to make sure that where you have currency, the currency is shown. You've got to have thousand separators for better legibility, and you want to be consistent with the number of decimal places. Now, for the data itself, you don't need to show all the information in the table. Maybe the average value can be shown in a different way and not take all the space right here. Same goes for the cost and the profit. And I'll show you later an interesting way of presenting the same information. So let's recap. We started with this table and we removed the totals, we changed the column headers, we made sure that the data is consistent across the board, and we removed unnecessary data. And it already looks so much better, don't you think? But just because we saw the data, it doesn't mean that the job is done. No, 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 no. You still have to do more, especially on these improvements focus on how the table looks and how easily users can read it. You see, we have text wrapping, we have uneven columns, all sort of issues. So why not take a minute and make everything look good? Just make sure the columns are even and the text wrapping is kept to a minimum. But by sorting this, we see another issue, the white space. And I mean the white space inside the table, not outside of it. Increase the row padding and data will be so much easier to read. But you know, the worst part is that there is no hierarchy. Everything is the same. There is nothing to guide the user's eyes to the information. You can change that by making subtle changes in fonts and colors for the column headers and the information. Make the value pop. 
Now this next step is optional, but I'll show you how I prefer to set the alternate road background and grids. I prefer to remove all style designs from the table and just set the row padding at 10 and use a very light gray for grid lines. And this keeps them visible just enough to create a separation between rows. So far, we've changed this table by sorting data and then making columns even, adding a bit of space between the rows, highlighting the hierarchy and adding a bit of a modern twist. But there is more that you can do, and if you do it, your table will go from pro to god tier. This is all about taking the table to the next level, and here are a few things that you could do. Add a bit of color with conditional formatting. For example, if the sales increased by more than 75% from the previous year, change the value color to green, and if there has been a decrease in sales versus previous year, then change it to red. This will make the relevant information pop off the screen, drawing attention to it. Now earlier, when we removed the cost and profit, I said there might be a better way of showing the information. Well, instead of showing both those numbers, you could show the margins. And you can play with the color as well. And as you can see, just by doing this, it's already obvious that Royal Reef flooring not only increased the sales considerably, but the profit margins are very high as well. So, just by doing these two minor changes, it became a lot easier to spot outliers. Which kind of is the main purpose of these reports. The next change is just a personal preference, but I believe it looks good. I usually change the alignment of the numbers to the left. But, by all means, this is just my preference, and if you don't feel it, then don't do it. Oh, I nearly forgot about the average value and the fact that we might have to add it back to the table. But before I show you how to do that, let's do a quick recap of the things you can do to improve your tables. Improve the presentation and data clarity by removing totals, renaming the headers, adjusting the numbers formatting, and removing redundant data. Improve the visual design and readability by adjusting column width, adding space between rows, creating hierarchy, and change the table background. And last but not least, improve the user interaction by using conditional formatting, being creative with how you present data, and, if you feel like it, adjusting the position of the values. Now, Going back to the average value, you can add it back to the table by using a tooltip page. And speaking of tooltip pages, I have just a video for you explaining all there is to know. Watch this video right here if you're interested in finding out more. And before you go, don't forget to like and drop a comment on how you design your tables. I'm always curious on how can I improve the way data is presented. This is Stelian, signing off. Until next time, cheerio!